society. The forces of evil can never destroy the powers of the Wonder Man. And though the most formidable journey lies ahead, only one will prevail. Wonder. Wonder. <laughs> Wonder Man. Alright, so here we are turning up to Sinkholm Hill. An absolute classic. 4%, 2 kilometers. Alright, so we've got the bottom, the little thing at the bottom is basically me versus Chris. Alright, I put, did post this video a little while back on my other channel, but no one watched it. So I thought I'd post it again. But anyway, so this is a climb um, I was away in. It's called Sinkholm Hill. Um, Chris Obi has done this. And if you don't know who Chris Obi is, he used to race professionally for uh, Kenya Iceberg, and he's now a GCM presenter. So I tried to get his KOM. I had a raging tailwind. Um, and you can see this is the climb here, it's about 5%, uh, 1 and a bit K, uh, but it's basically pan flat, as you can see at the bottom uh, on the profile. And uh, my time is the black time, and Chris, Chris Opie's time is the pink time. So at the moment, I'm about one second ahead of Chris Opie. Uh, but anyway, so you can basically see the difference between me and him. So on the Watts per Kilo chart, I have done about 395 and probably weigh 60, 60, 60 to 62. So that's about 6.3 Watts per Kilo, more or less. And that is exceptional, apparently, on the chart, uh, which is similar to Domestic Pro. So, I mean, I, it's just sort of the comparison, like, are those charts accurate, and um, does it really matter? And so you can see at the moment, we're ramping up a little bit here, up to 7%, really trying to surge up. There's 450 watts, and you can see Chris Opie, we're, we're, we're level on time at the moment. Me and Chris Opie, if we were riding next to each other, we'd be uh, at the same point. And that does continue, but as soon as it starts to flatten off a little bit, Chris Opie definitely flies ahead. Um, so I just think it's more important, like, the Watts per Kilo chart isn't accurate, especially the pink and blue one, that's definitely not. Um, and also Watts per Kilo doesn't matter about on these shorter climbs, uh, especially when they're flat. Like the beginning bit, we're doing 40Ks an hour, even now we're doing 24K an hour. Um, so the Watts per Kilo don't really matter that much. But Chris Opie is like, I mean, he's, he's a, he's a world-class rider really, he's won a lot of um, stages in like big races in Britain and abroad. And um, yeah, he's won the Ronde van Nederland, I think. Um, and some other classic uh, races in Belgium and the Netherlands. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's not embarrassing to lose to him, but it's more like he's classed as a sprinter and he can still climb exceptionally well. This is where I lose a lot of time. My power really suffers here on this 5% part and Chris Opie gains a lot of time here. It's probably like three or four seconds ahead. And the man's just gonna keep pulling away. Um, and I mean, he probably wasn't even going full gas. I mean, this is the thing is like, he's probably just cruising up there. Saw a bit of climb, like, oh, I'll hit it. Um, but yeah, it's sort of a bit embarrassing for me because, you know, I, I went full gas for this effort. Obviously, I didn't leave bottles or anything. I had bottles on. But even so, like, you know, I had a great tailwind on this particular climb. Um, but yeah, it's pretty incredible just, like, how fast sprinters can climb and, like, World Tour sprinters even faster. Like, people are like, oh, Cavendish can't climb. It's like, yeah, but he could drop like most people. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Um, the, I mean, they're very good climbers. That's, that's the truth of the matter. Um, and on this little last rise, I really try and just surge it and give it absolutely everything. I remember really hurting on this particular part and just sprinting as much as possible. But when you're trying to hold for more or less 400 watts for this, it, it definitely hurts quite a lot. I think my average power is about 390 for this or something, um, which is still decent, but um, it's not absolutely mega, um, especially this shorter part. You can see here, I'm almost get up to 500 watts here, really just trying to surge 20 Ks an hour, 10% gradient is, uh, is decent, is decent. Um, so anyway, like, I guess it's just like, well, for me, a bit humbling, just realizing like you think you're good, but you're not really. Um, sprinters can still drop you off climbs. Uh, but it's also just like on these shorter climbs, you really just need the watts. And watts per kilo only really matter on super long climbs or super steep climbs. In between, the watts per kilo matters, but the absolute watts can make up for it. Um, especially if you're a heavy rider, have big watts on these climbs, it's so fast. Like it just doesn't, the air resistance is quite large. Um, and then this flat part, again, he, um, I sort of get him a little bit back. He probably, he probably just launched it on the steeper parts and on the flatter parts, it didn't go as hard. Uh, but anyway, what are your thoughts? Like, are sprinters actually that slow? I mean, I just don't think they are. Like, everyone sort of always says um, they're not. But sprinters, for me, are still incredibly fast climbers. And, um, yeah, it's pretty good. Here's my last little sprint up to 550 watts or whatever. Uh, just trying to give it absolutely everything. Um, but I was quite happy with my effort on the day. You know, I, I emptied my tank. Uh, but anyway, my next couple videos hopefully will be about hill climbs. I need to get a GoPro so I can film my hill climbs because those are going to be pretty epic. Went over a huge pothole then, <laughs> absolutely monstrous. Uh, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy it. I'll see you in the next video.